China Quality Bridge Collapses 11 Days After Inspection the China-made Sigiri Bridge located in Kenya has had its construction suspended after it collapsed and injured 28 people, with the incident occurring after the bridge was apparently deemed safe from an inspection 11 days prior. The inspection was conducted by Kenya's president Yuru Kenyatta as part of his campaign tour and was also personally commissioned by him at the Colossal, for Africans, cost of $11.5 million with his chance to be re-elected likely collapsing along with the 100-meter bridge. Spanning the Nzia River, the bridge was built following a horrific boat accident which took the lives of 11 people back in 2014, and President Kenyatta also claimed the Sigiri Bridge would be just one part of his grand scheme on improving Kenya's infrastructure, though the bridge's collapse has unsurprisingly been used by his opposition to deny him as a rube being taken to the cleaners by China's cunning merchants. Those building the bridge, the China Overseas Engineering Co., have apparently not taken responsibility for the collapse but have agreed to at least compensate workers. A top team of engineers were sent to figure out the cause of the bridge's collapse, and maybe whether enough styrofoam was used in its foundations. Considering China's record for failed constructions, Many are naturally not regarding this incident as water under the bridge.